Hi, hi everyone. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, Aurelia. So I'm the last one. <laughs> I'll do it quickly. I'm not going to keep you all alone. Don't be so happy. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I'm just going to tell you about our English courses at Levinsky. This is actually the second stage because last year we had two courses, Vicky Kopp and myself delivered two courses in EAP, English for Academic Purposes. And this year, first semester, I've already drawn conclusions from last year and was able to implement them on the course that I'm teaching now or taught in the previous uh, semester. But I just have to tell you that uh, last week, a few of us from Levinsky participated and presented our pilot courses in the International Intake Conference. And it was really interesting. So I just have to tell you this one thing uh, that I remember from, uh, if this was the keynote speaker of the entire conference, um, his name is R Richard Gerber, he's English. And he works with Google and Microsoft and he's a leading educationist. And he talked about his work with Obama and he told a story which I really liked. He said that when he talked to Obama about, about his experience, then Obama told him that when he came in, when he entered the White House, he felt like he was a little child in a sweet shop, in a candy store, as the Americans would say, because he could actually hire the best technical minds in the world in order to solve the problems that crossed his desk. But after eight years in the White House, Obama actually said that none of the problems that he encountered, none of the problems that crossed his desk were technical in nature. <laughs> and what he said was that the problems were of a human nature. And I think we've seen a lot of that with some of the uh, presentations that we saw today that they were about love and anger and jealousy and greed and hatred and tribalism with all of these things that we have been talking about. So this has to do with SEL and this has to do with the flexibility that we were talking about. But still we need technical solutions. It's not enough to talk about ethics and feelings. We do need uh, the technical uh, solution. So I just want to tell you about the, a little bit about the courses. First of all, we had two courses with 94 students. Uh, Vicky Cotton and myself used the UDL and the SEL format. The response from the students was excellent. They loved the courses. The surveys were very, very good. We gave them a lot of choice. Uh, I'll show you in a moment. We, and we also gave them a lot of emotional support. Um, for example, in my course, they had uh, six topics. I'm sorry, I don't know how to minimize it. They had six topics which were relevant to their lives. These are young people in their 20s. They care about body image. They care about love. They care about <laughs> marriage. So these were the topics that we chose, okay? The meaning of life. Stress was a very popular unit. And they had to choose four out of six a lot of work for Vicky and myself because we had to prepare and to evaluate. But the course went very, very well. But I had, an, everything was UDL. So for example, we had, uh, we used, um, oh, this is the new course, sorry. We used a natural speaker, okay? So that they had videos, text, podcasts, they were able to choose how to engage, and they also had a choice of assignments. So we used the UDL and we used SEL. There was lots of group work and emotional work. We did uh, two surveys, one at the beginning of the course, one in the middle of the course, and obviously the college questionnaire, which comes at the very end. And we felt that it was very good. But I have to tell you that at the end of the year, I felt that one thing was compromised. It was one thing I didn't really feel so good about. And I felt that the students when did not receive academically as high a level 
as I usually give them in the other courses. What do I mean by that? Since they had a choice of assignments and they could either make a film or create a poster or write an essay, at the end of the course, many of them could not write an essay as well as they would have if this were a regular course. So I felt that this was academically it was a little bit of a compromise, okay? So this semester, I felt last semester we just ended and um, I tried to, to draw conclusions from the previous course. I gave them less choice. I insisted on some academic assignments. With all due respect to UDL, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have to know how to write an essay. So I insisted on that, okay, and I made a few changes. And um, I just want to show you, I had out of 31 students, Four uh, were immigrants. So two speakers of uh, native speakers of Russia and one French and one from uh, Amharic from Ethiopia. And 10, which is almost one third of the students had accommodation for LD. So we're very lucky at Levinsky because when I have a student with a hearing impairment or a visual impairment, I get an email from the Ganit. And she tells me, okay, listen, this student has this and this. So institutionally, we're very well taken care of so that we can accommodate all the different uh, students. Um, so as I said, um, we quite a few of them um, had that. In terms of the preferred mode of learning, and this is something that we receive almost every course we teach. They all prefer synchronous, in lessons with the teacher. So they want to have the recording afterwards, but this is a kind of result that we receive once and once again, over and over again. They want the live interaction with, um, with, uh, with the teacher. Um, one last thing I want to show you, this is the natural reader that we're using with Kavinsky. I really, really um, recommend it. You have different voices, you can choose them. You can choose from, okay, different accents you can choose from. You can also download as an MP3 uh, so that you can listen to it and the students can listen to, to it later on. And so I just want to show you that many of the 29 users, so even though just 10 users were LD and had accommodation, 29 users chose to hear to listen to the text rather than to just read it from uh, the screen or from the page. So the Moodle reports were very interesting. Uh, once again, you can see that even though all the students and most of them attended the synchronous lesson, I uploaded the recording and we saw that 17 out of 31 actually watched the recording or parts of the recording afterwards. So they enjoyed this mixture of synchronous and asynchronous. And I think really at the end of this uh, wonderful meeting that we had that I learned so much from, the question is really how do we merge the SEL, the emotional aspect with the technical aspect, okay? So that's maybe the question. I see, I think some of the questions that Aurelia uh, yeah. has just shown us in the survey could be relevant to this. So how do we evaluate the report, this magic word? And um, we talked about it, this emotional support, this has to be evaluated and assessed because this is the magic ingredient. And sometimes this is the magic ingredient that we ignore. How do we assess it? How do we evaluate it? And the question which was raised here, how do we do it in large groups? Okay, how do we create this report in large groups? Um, there's these little words of encouragement. Where, how do we gauge them? And how do we assess the social emotional elements within uh, the course itself? So this is a juggling act, okay? <laughs> we need to put our psychologist cap uh, one day and then the next day we have to put our techno